Boker Tov, good morning, Chodesh Tov, today is Rosh Chodesh, Shvat. Shvat stands for Shanit Baser Besarot Tovot, Bezat Hashem, Shanishma Besarot Tovot, we should hear only good news. It also happens to be January 11th, Thursday. Um, Ellie Goldsmith, who's my partner in crime with this uh, Real Kindness podcast, is in uh, England. Uh, he'll be back with the show at the end of this week, so we'll be back together next week. But I wanted to tell you about an unbelievably amazing story that happened to me yesterday. And another crazy story that happened on the first of the year of the Gregorian calendar on January 1st. Um, and then talk about uh, real kindness, what real kindness is. Uh, and we've discussed in previous podcasts דיברנו לפני כן, מה זה חסד אמיתי? ודיברנו על איך שזה, מה שאנחנו עושים, מה שצהל, מה שעם ישראל עושים, שזה לחסל ולהשמיד את הרוע בעולם, it's to destroy and eliminate the evil from the world. But, before we do that, לפני שאנחנו עושים את זה, לפני שנדבר על הסיפור ש... שקרה לי אתמול, אני רוצה לשיר איזה שיר. זה שיר שעכשיו, לא יודע, עכשיו יותר מאף פעם זמן אחרת, now more than ever. זה שיר שממש, יש, יש לה יותר משמעות. It has a lot more meaning for me right now. אז uh, נשאיר את השיר, we'll sing the song, then we'll get into the story. Then we'll get into uh, what a lot of people, I've sent messages, שלחתי הודעות להרבה אנשים, אזרחים, אלה בצבא, דתיים, חילונים, מסורתיים. Uh, I sent messages to religious people, regular citizens, people in the army, Ashkenazim, Sfaradim, to see what they think, what their opinion of real nitzachon, of real winning, right? Because we say, Biyachadim Hashem Nenetzeach, right? We say, together with Hashem, we will win, or Adan Nitzachon, until victory. What does that mean to people? Uh, so we'll sing the song, and then we'll get into it all. Ani ma'amin Be'emuna shelema V'yad ha'amashiyach Ani ma'amin Ani ma'amin We should be zochet to uh, seeing Mashiach the Binyan Bet Hamidash Bimirah Amenu. Okay, this story that happened to me yesterday is nothing short of an absolute miracle. It's, it's probably one of the craziest things that I've ever experienced in my entire life. 
Um, so, as you guys may or may not know, Oh Hashem, Kaddish Baruch Hu blessed me and my Eishat Chayel and my two boys to make Aliyah two and a half years ago. We live in Efrat, which is such a spectacular and phenomenal community, not because it's aesthetically beautiful, because it is. We're in the mountains of Judea and Samaria. Um, the people here are just phenomenal. They're amazing. Starts at top with the with the Rav of the Kehila, Rav Shlomo Katz, and you have Tzadikim like Rav Baruch Efrati, and it's really just an unbelievable place for Ruchniyut. Makom mamash mamash madhim bishvil Ruchniyut v'gam gashmiyut. Ma shatem rotzim be'efrat yesh. Echad me'asibot shani mavet zeh kolkach harbe zeh biglal she'efros shezeh. Like where it's located. Ani yisrim dakot mikever Rachel. I'm twenty minutes from Kever Rachel. I'm chazi sha'a mi. Chevron, the Marat Machpelah. I'm 30 minutes away, half an hour away from Chevron, and the cave of the patriarchs and the matriarchs. About 40 minutes away from the Kotel. 40 minutes away from the Kotel. As Hashem, zachiti, pam b'shavu alefachot ani mishtadel alechet la Kotel. So thank God, I've been blessed I, at least once a week. I really try. I try to go to the Kotel. It's my happy place. Is that makom she noten li energiot, noten li takoach? It really is my happy place. It gives me the strength to do what I need to do. And it just grounds me. It's just a... It's my happy place, just to, to put it plainly. So I've been going for, for two and a half years, once a week. At least I try to. And as uh, many of you know, there are a lot of people there that, uh, that ask for it, like, oh, they ask for charity. You know, it's funny, a lot, a lot of people, if you ask people around the world, how many Jews are there, they'll tell you, oh, 500 million. And apparently, according to the rest of the world, we're all multi-millionaires. Well, I got news for you, that's not the case. בתקשורת ובבנקים והכל וזה, אנחנו, אנחנו יודעים שזה לא נכון. אז uh, אני הולך לכותל, ויש איזה שתי אנשים שהתחברתי אליהם, אלה שמבקשים צדקה. There are two guys that, you know, they ask for charity, and I got connected to them, I, I connected to their souls, however you want to look into it. And every time that I go, כל פעם שאני הולך, אם יש לי מזומן עליי, if I have cash on me, I give them money. Whatever I can give them at that time. אם יש לי מזומן, אני נותן להם מה שאני יכול. ואם אין לי, אז אני נותן, הולך לשוארמה שם, לשמואל, אחלה גבר, ושוארמה הכי טוב, ממש ברובע. ואני לוקח להם סנדוויץ', משהו כזה, שוארמה, שניצל, מה שהם רוצים. Uh, so I get them a sandwich, whatever they want, a schnitzel, a shawarma, whatever it is, just to, just, just token, you know, just to make their day a little bit easier. She had them yom ksat yoter kal. As lifnei ze berech chodshayim, about two months ago, I was, I was walking in that area, haiti ba, haiti sham, barova yehudi, ve, ani magia la makom sheni bederech tal roe, so I was you know, walking through and I was about to get to the point where I was going to meet the two guys that typically sit together that, that request charity. And I bumped into a friend of mine, someone I haven't seen in many, many years. And he started talking to me. And I happened to be wearing this sweatshirt that I'm wearing right now. Uh, the Manot Giborim, Just One Chesed, Meals for Heroes sweatshirt. And, you know, we're catching up. He's like, what is that? What's Meals for Heroes? What's the Manot Giborim? How's it going? What's it going? So I told him, there are three shops in Zion, Pizzeri Efrat, Chumus Eliyahu in Tzomet Agush, and Katsefet in Kfar Zion, that when the people are sitting in the house, they are eating in the house. They are the three restaurants, Pizzeri Efrat, Chumus Eliyahu, and Katsefet, that when soldiers walk in to sit down and eat, they eat for free. And I was telling him how it was so crazy a couple of days ago. I just did a barbecue on the base, and it was amazing, and it was so unbelievable. The, the soldiers appreciate it so much. It makes them feel so good. I told him that 
חיילים וחיילות נהנו, והבאנו זמר, ורקדנו, ובלאגן היה ממש חפלה גדולה, כמו שאומרים. It was really, it was an unbelievable party. Um, so he said, alright, let's be in touch, בוא נהיה בקשר, נדבר, בסדר. לא, ש... לא שמעתי ממנו, הוא הלך לדרכו, והיה בסדר, ש... שלחנו כמה הודעות אחת לשני לראות מה העניינים, מה קורה. והלכתי, ירדתי לכותל, ועשיתי מה שאני צריך לעשות. ו... So I, you know, nothing really happened from that point. We stayed in, we stayed in contact, we communicating, you know, like, like you would with uh, any, any friend. And um, I went down to the coast and did what I did. And going forward, I, you know, as much as I possibly could over the past eight weeks, I've continued to go to the coast. במשך החודשיים האחרונים, המשכתי ללכת לכותל. הלכתי אתמול. והייתי שם uh, עם הבן דוד שלי, שגם הבן דוד של אשתי, uh, שגם uh, שותף שלי בעסק. So I went yesterday, I was meeting up uh, with my cousin, actually it's my wife's cousin, Hal Matheson, who happens to be a business partner as well, shout out. He also brought his son, he beat a bench of Shlomo. אנחנו מסתובבים ברובע, ופגשנו את אחד מהשתיים. והלכתי לתת לו כסף, ואני ראיתי אחד מהאנשים שאמרו לי כסף, ואני אמרתי לו 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 כסף, didn't think anything of it. לא חשבתי, אמרתי, בסדר, אוקיי, אני אראה אותך יותר מאוחר. יושב, אוכל את השווארמה שלי, מסיים, so I eat my shawarma, I finish, and I'm about to go down, and I go see the guy, and I'm not mentioning his name, Dafka, because he requested for me not to, not to say anything, not to publicize it, but this is, to me, it's a much, much a miracle, he's like, I don't know, the Alan Avi, Um, it's like one of the stories that, and I was speaking to somebody else, he told me this is Mamash like you're telling me a story from like uh, the Baal Shem Tov. It's like it's complete insanity. So, I see him and I see him and he puts his hand out, he wants to shake my hand. I shake his hand, he gives me a bracha and then he sticks a lot of cash in my hand. He said, We'll just call him David, just for whatever. Nikrano David. David, what do you say? What do you say? What do you say? No, 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 no. So he reminds me, what he said before a few days, and I remember that you talked to your friend, you talked about the fire, and he asked you how much it is, and you said about what it is, about 100 shekels to a man, about... I want to participate in the mitzvah, I want to... I want to... אני רוצה לשמח חמישים חיילים, ונתן לי חמש אלף שקל במזומן. He said, I want to participate in this מצווה, and I want to make, I want to make some soldiers happy, I want to participate in this מצווה. And he gave me the money. I said to him, David, David אני לא יכול, אני, אני לא יכול לקחת כסף ממך, I, I, can't, I can't take money from you. Are you kidding me? No way. He said, if you don't take the money, it'll make me extraordinarily sad. If you don't take the money, I'm really sad. I've been to the past two months, I've been to the past two months, two months, I collected money, I used some of my ma'asir, and I want to be a part of this mitzvah. Now, I just want you to understand what we're talking about. We're talking about a guy who sits down all day and the way that he supports his family is by requesting tzedakah. And to be quite honest, I wasn't going to take the money. I really wasn't. I really didn't take the money. I 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 remembered something that my friend Pesach told me from Rabbi Nachman. Rabbi Nachman said, Rabbi Nachman said, 
שמקבל את, הצד, את הצדקה עצמה, the one who does the receiving of the צדקה, or the chesed, he does a bigger mitzvah than the one who's actually giving it. הוא עושה מצווה אפילו יותר גדולה מאשר הבן אדם שנותן את זה, את החסד והצדקה. למה? אם הבן אדם לא לוקח את זה, שכח מזה ש... מה זה יעשה לבן אדם הכי שרוצה לתת. הבן אדם שרוצה לתת לא יכול לקבל את המצווה. זה כאילו, אבל לא באמת. So it's as if you gave, but the person who, the person who receives the chesed, who receives the gift, gets a bigger מצווה because he's... allows the one who's giving to receive the mitzvah as well. So at that, at that moment, that was reminded to me, and I was like, you know what? I can't say no. I can't say no. So, Bezat Hashem, this Sunday, with the help of others, we're going to be doing a barbecue um, for soldiers in the Gush Etzion. And a lot of it is of the merit of this Malach, Mamasha Malach, he's an angel, um, that donated this money. Um, that took a little bit longer than I anticipated, so I'm going to forego the other story, and I'll probably tell it when, when I'm with Ellie next week, but I do want to get to the ultimate chesed. What is chesed? What's real chesed? What is chesed amiti? כפי שדיברנו לפני כן, חסד אמיתי זה מחסל, להשבד את הרוע בעולם. The ultimate חסד is to get rid of the evil in the world. אז אנחנו מדברים הרבה, שומעים בכל מקום בארץ. We talk a lot about it, we see it everywhere in the land of Israel. We see it ביחד עם השם ננצח. Right? We see together with השם we're going to win, or ביחד ננצח, or עד הניצחון, until victory. So I asked a lot of people. I asked a lot of people. I'm simply going to read to you what they said to me. Um, I'd love for those of you that are watching, uh, for you to tell me, in your, in your eyes, what you think, what's winning. When you hear, When you hear, When you hear, What does that mean to you? I'll tell you what it means to me at the end. Bezat Hashem. So here's the first one. Nitzachon ze shenihye am chofshi v'artenu v'nishar me'urchadim k'mo achshav v'shenenatzach bezrat Hashem. Victory is that we become a free nation in our country and that we remain united uh, as we are now and that we win, God willing. The next one. Shalom nifached li'ilachem u'la'ashmit et o'evenu v'et ha'roa shelahem. ושלא נפחד לנצח, זה גם חלק מהניצחון, כי לפעמים פשוט פוחדים לנצח. The second one, that we should not be afraid to fight and destroy our enemies and their evil, and that we'll not be afraid to win. This is also part of the victory, because sometimes we're simply afraid just to win. It's pretty deep stuff. Number three, and I got about 30 or 40 of these, so bear with me. בשבילי ניצחון הוא תחושת הביטחון של האזרחים שדבר כמו שקרה לנו לא יכול לקרות שוב. שאזרחי ישראל לא יפחדו וידעו שמה שקרה לא היה לחינם ושתבצר מציאות אחרת מתוך האסון. For me, victory is the sense of security of the citizens that something like, like that happened to us, uh, that something like what happened to us, excuse me, cannot happen again. that the citizens of Israel will not be afraid and know that what happened was not for nothing and that a different reality will emerge from the disaster. Uh, another one. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm going to skip a little bit because I think if I go through uh, 25 or 30 of them, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little bit tedious. Shechamas um, v'chizbalah lo yuchal l'avot yum yoter. Hamas and Hezbollah won't be able to do any more, any more of these types of uh, damages to us. Uh, another one, that will stay, will stay united, will be unified. Uh, um, that... 
for, for this individual. I think victory is a final word that I will never have another war with the specific thing that you're fighting. Um, so here's another one. Uh, Another one that uh, all of the hostages are returned. We have zero terror attacks in this nation. Um, we strengthen our borders and we have no more terrorists that come within our borders. ניצחון בעיניי שלא יהיה יותר מלחמות אחרי המלחמה הזאת, וניצחון בעיניי שכולנו נהיה מאוחדים לתמיד. ללא הבדל דת, גזע, מין ודעות פוליטיות, שכולנו נהיה ביחד. Here's another beautiful one. Uh, someone wrote that um, victory in my eyes, there'll be no more wars after this war. And a victory in my eyes is that we will all be united forever, regardless of religion, race, sex, and political information. That we'll all be together. We do not have a we do not have a state, and we have no other place to be united. It's so, just interesting. There's another one. Vishtafte vishaftem ba eretz lavetach kirush oyevay oyevay am Yisrael v'ashchanat ahavat achim bechol haaretz. And you dwelt in the land safely, the expulsion of all of the enemies from the people of Israel and the establishment of brotherly love throughout the land. Victory in my eyes, another person wrote, is to return to the, to the right path to do mitzvot for free love. Then I believe we'll defeat the enemy. And the list goes on and on and on. Let's show our unity as a people to restore the situation to its original state and, and of course uh, to return all of the uh, the hostages. Um, here's another one. Shekol Yudi Elech Bekol Tfuta Aretz Bli Pachad. That every single person in Israel, every Jew, can walk throughout the land of Israel without being fearful. There's a lot to be said about this. There's a lot that can be said. And what winning means. I think all of these things are excellent points. I really think that all the things that everyone sent to me is really, really things that are amazing, that we will be united. But this is the beginning. That we will be that we'll be able to sit and dwell in the land with security. That's another thing. But I think the ultimate, the really the ultimate nitzachon is that this is the, this is the springboard. This is the springboard for us to reach a different level of consciousness. This is a place for us to reach a different level of I know that in the media, uh, and Rav Shlomo Katz has spoken about this several times, you know, in the shiurim that he's been giving, the shiurim that he's been giving, someone called Meshichist, and it's like it's something bad. כל הדברים, כל מה שכולם אמרו, בקשר למה שזה ניצחון. אני חושב בסופו של דבר, זה הכל שלבים להגיע לגאולה שלנו. וזה, יש, יש מקום למחלוקת, there's a place to argue, אם זה יגיע אחרי שמשיח יבוא, או כדי שמשיח יגיע צריכים להגיע למקומות האלה. את האמת אני ממש לא יודע. תהי לי תשוט, אני באמת לא יודע, אני לא יודע. אולי הקדוש ברוך הוא אומר את הבורא העולם נועץ. אבל אני יודע דבר אחד. אני יודע דבר אחד. שאנחנו, בתור עם, לא יכולים להתנהג ולחשוב איך שהיינו מתנהגים לפני שמחת תורה. המחשבה שלנו ממש צריכה להשתנות. לא רק איך אנחנו מטפלים באויבים שלנו, לא רק בדרום ובצפון ובתוך ארץ ישראל גם כן. הדרך גם הזאת צריכה להשתנות. אבל איך אנחנו מתנהגים אחד לשני? How do we react to one another? How do we treat one another? 
Are we giving each other the benefit of that? נותנים לאחד השני, דנים את חברינו לקו זכות ולקו חובה. כל אלה שאומרים שאהבת חינם ושהאחדות תישאר וכל מיני דברים כאלה, אתם צודקים. זה התחלה. זה התחלה לשלב ארוך, אבל הקדוש ברוך הוא יכול, יכול לעשות הכל כהרף עין. אבל זה תלוי בנו. You know, the ones that are saying, the ones that are talking about the achdut needs to remain, it needs to stay, to have avat chinam, to love every single Jew. That's dependent on each and every one of us. That talui b'cha v'bach v'bachem v'banu. Mi shechotech otcha v'akvi, someone cuts you off on the road, ata titatzben v'tatchi l'zrok milim. You're going to get angry and start, you know, throwing words out of people. חותכים אותך בשוף, מתי שאתה מחכה לצאת מרמי לוי ביום חמישי, שהתור מטורף לגמרי, וכבר חיכית שעה, מישהו בא, כן, כן, יש רק שתי דברים, והולך והולך, והולך לפניך, someone cuts you off in the, in, in the line at the shopping, when you're doing shopping on a Thursday afternoon for Shabbat, when the lines are absolutely insane, are you going to say, okay, no problem, just do what you got to do. But it's got to be a conscious thing that we're all doing. in order for us to be able to reach that point. And this is the thing that we all have in our thoughts, and not only in our thoughts, we need to talk about it, we need to talk about it, we need to connect to our heart. It can't just be our thoughts and our consciousness. It needs to be our consciousness where it becomes our poal, right? It becomes something that we're actually doing. So, in the name of God, and the name of all the tzaddikim and the tzaddikaniyot, All of our holy soldiers, the Malachi Asharet, these people don't even realize how holy they are. You know, the Babacher Rebbe was asked by somebody, I want, years ago, I want to go to, I want to go see Kivrei Tzadikim. He told them, go to Har Herzl. This week was not an easy week. There was a rough day earlier in the week when we buried 10 Tzadikim. It really depends on us. It's on us. It's on each and every one of us. It's not just on us. It's not just on us. It's not just on us. We've had 10 sadiqs. And what are the sadiqs? The Lord has given me the right to sit here in my house and do a podcast. And talk about the truth. And talk about the chesed. It starts with us. אז בעזרת השם, מי אני בכלל לתת ברכה, אבל אני נסיך של המלך, אני בן של מלך, אז אני נסיך. אז יש לי זכות לתת ברכה. Who am I to give a blessing, but you know what, I'm a, I'm a prince. I'm the son of a king. So I give everybody a ברכה, I give everybody a blessing. תן לכולם ברכה, שבעזרת השם אנחנו נעבוד על עצמנו. נסתכל בראי ונראה מה אנחנו צריכים לעשות. כדי להביא את הגאולה השלמה. איך אנחנו נתנהג עם אחד השני, שנראה להם רק אהבה עם אחינו. לא משנה, אשכנזי, ספרדי, תימני, דתי, מסורתי, חילוני, it doesn't matter if you're religious, if you're traditional, if you're unaffiliated, it does not matter. It doesn't matter if you're אשכנז, if you're ספרדי, if you're יימנאי, it doesn't make a difference. We're one nation. And when we're unified, I think once we're unified, it's a start to us being able to feel safe and then bring the Mashiach, which will be the ultimate victory. So I bless us that we, we feel that, we work on that, and we know that Be'ezrat Hashem, we will win. Am HaNetzach lo mefached mimilchama aruka, the eternal Nation does not fear a long war. Be'ezrat Hashem, Be'ezrat Hashem, Be'yachad im Hashem, Lenatzeach. Shira kulam, Chodesh tov, Umvorechet. Toda rabah.